Today we're going to look at creating cladding's in advanced steel. So before I do that, let's just prepare the area. So I want to just work with the components I need. So in advanced steel, it's easy just to turn off the items that you don't want displayed in the model. So everything's okay. I forgot a little one there. There we go. So the first thing you want to do is place your UCS accordingly. And I'll rotate it around the Z. And again, I can move it to the node of the system line as the cladding will be created in the XY plane. Now, upon this extended modeling tab, you have tools to create the cladding. First, you want to define the space, and we're going to use the rectangular option. So I'm just going to go from node to node just to define the cladding area. So once that's created, we want to define the cladding opening. So after selecting it, we will select the option again, rectangular, meaning we have to select the object, which is the area. So now after selecting the object, we have to define where we want our opening to be. So this would be from node to node, the opening of the window the roof opening rather. And there, the last thing we want to do is to create the cladding. So again, we'd select the, the area and our cladding is created. 